Good morning, guys. I am at my first job today. All I'm doing today is, well, we're going to do other things, but without Rachel. All I'm doing is liming these two lawns and another lawn. And wait until you guys see these lawns. These lawns look the best they've ever looked in the winter time, as far as since we've been seeding. And I think it's got a lot to do with the Jonathan Green seed that we used. Um, this grass is coming in nice. It seems to be shorter, thicker. But I'm going to get out and get these two. I'm not sure if we're going to go back to the wall project or building a fence there. Uh, we don't want to be in their way. We might go and do a pruning today. We'll see. we got to prune back some rhododendrons in the front of one of a client's house and then some side bushes. So but here's we'll the see. first two I'm liming. Um, they're not that big. I think they're both about a little bit under 5,000 square feet. So I will use a bag and a quarter for both of these yards. And if you guys don't know, if you're new to the channel, we do do lawn fertilizing, um, weed control. Um, and this is a fast acting lime. It's called Cal Lime, um, Cal Turf Pro, but it's fast acting. This does 10,000 square foot at five pounds per thousand. Now we're going a little heavier. We're going about seven pounds per Each thousand. Last year was a little bit lower in most of our yards. Some yards were really, really low. So we're just going a little bit heavier. And then we'll probably do another soil test, either the when we go to do lawn, uh, when we go to renovate lawns in the fall, or we'll wait until the spring of the following season to do another soil test. But let's get out and get this done. Okay guys, those two are done. And for anybody who knew that wants to get into liming yards, I mean, every area is different, but we do about five. This is about, I think I did about six, seven pounds per thousand on this. And keep in mind, one bag gets you off. Uh, five pounds per thousand. Um, and that's usually a maintenance app to keep your um, pH balanced. Um, for this yard, we for both of these, there's two here, we do 60 and 60. And they're between four and 5,000 square foot, but it doesn't matter anything under 5,000, anything zero to 5,000 square foot is our minimum, $60 for lime. So now the next one we get to, I think it's a hundred and something we're doing for lime. And you'll see, we use almost two bags of lime on that one. It's a lot bigger. So let's go get that so one. Here's the next one. I'm done doing it, but I just had to show you this backyard. Keep in mind, we're at February 9th and honestly, it could be mowed. See all it here? It's all long. Remember, if you guys have been watching for a while, this got eaten by army worms. We've reseeded it, put new soil in. Look at it back here. And we've been cold. Now I'll show you the other part. That's that's good. This is looking really good for... I'll take your... So if you come around here, some of it's dormant, but if you look at all the neighbors, they're definitely dormant. But watch, you can see Rachel's stripes. And it's funny, anywhere we put topsoil where the army worms really destroyed, it's darker green, see? You can see it all right here in these patches. All this is where we put topsoil like a really good organic topsoil. Okay, I'm done this one. We'll see what we gotta do. Look, you can see where it's with stripes. All there was topsoil put in there and the lawn still. <laughs> okay, let's go get Rachel and see what we're gonna get into. Oh, and this one, guys, I used a bag and a half of lime um, and we do 105 on this one. Keep in mind, I'm using fast acting, high powered lime. There's a difference. I don't use the others. Oh. Oh. That's not good. That's what happens when you park on a hill. <laughs> we have a lot of them around here. Yeah, I know. The mailman. We're blocking the mailbox here on this one. I'm not moving, though. She's going to get mad. Yeah, but... I don't know if it's the same mail lady that blamed us for... No, it's not. It's, no? the, it's the usual one. The one who blamed us was... A fill-in. Yeah, she took out one of these mailboxes, and these mailboxes are like two to five hundred dollars mm -hmm. um, a piece. And she tried to blame it on the lawn guy, us. 
Mm -hmm. um, but good thing we were recording YouTube and I recorded her hitting the mailbox. Mm -hmm. So Carl got it on film. Mm -hmm. So that is a good thing about recording. Yeah, that's a good thing about recording pretty much everything we do too. You can go back and look at things while you're editing. If you miss things, mm -hmm. you have proof. If somebody says that you did something on a property, well, if I'm recording and obviously I didn't, we were doing a job for a friend, remember? And he mentioned that his new Tesla mm -hmm. had gotten a scratch on it. And he asked if we had scratched. Phone ran out of room. But needless to say, um, we had video showing that we were nowhere near his car and we didn't scratch his car on that day. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, and actually there was another time where somebody accused us of flying through their yard and not weed eating at all. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, and so, I had video showing that we actually weed eat it and weed eat it well into the beds where that wasn't our scope of work. Yeah, so so it, it definitely is helpful, um, you know, just to have that video documentation. Yeah. Uh, again, just across all your T's and dot all your I's. So they're building a fence over there at the wall project. Hopefully they're done today. We're going to go back tomorrow. We're going to throw this quick pruning in real quick. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's, but the, I just got to hit the rhododendron in the front and then the back bushes. Yeah. So we're going to get out and do that. And then we'll get back to the wall project tomorrow. Yeah. So I do want to mention, um, again, we went and ordered our big, we ordered these off of Amazon Oh yeah. and I'll make sure that I include the link. It's just nice to be able to order and get 10 tarps delivered to your door mm -hmm. for about the same price that you would by going to like Harbor Freight or somewhere else. And yeah, they're not like heavy duty, extreme nice tarps, but they do the job. And when you're dragging around brush and stuff, you don't want to use a heavy duty one all the it time. It rips it, it rips. up and then no matter more what. expensive. So yeah, so it's better just to pay six bucks for mm -hmm. a tarp and throw them away when they get yeah. so completely ripped so, so okay let's get just to work. a little tip of the day yeah tip mm -hmm. of the day so go check out and check out them and yeah them. if you guys are buying tarps then definitely check out the link and um and order yourself some tarps okay and let's... thank you for using our link yeah we appreciate I mean, it yeah we aren't affiliated with the tarps but we if you guys use our amazon link then we do get a little bit of a kickback mm -hmm. so we appreciate that Thanks. Yeah. So let's get the pruning. Okay. Okay, guys, these are rhododendrons and you see all the buds on here. Normally, you would not prune these right now no. and cut them back. You want the flowers to flower in the spring and then cut them back, but she doesn't care. She wants us to hack them pretty far down. Um, so they're cut back and she has allergies anyway. So we're gonna take these all the way down probably to like maybe Rachel's shoulder length. So, okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay guys, 
We're done this quick little job. We pulled some of this off the house, shaped this up the best we could. Um, it needs to be pruned again after it grows a little bit. It's been, well, we've been doing this property for nine years and it hasn't been pruned. Um, this part hasn't, but okay, let me finish cleaning this up and then we're done for the day. So just when you th think everything's going good. Never a dull moment. In lawn care, <laughs> at least on our channel. Yeah. So right. see, we have bad stuff happen too, guys. We were at the Ingalls and when I was pulling away, I noticed that part of my tire wasn't hooked to my trailer. So that caused an issue. <laughs> Don't know why. What? But when so I got out, the tire was leaning like this. The tire was separated from the brake hub. Oh my god! But we rolled it forward a little bit. It popped back on and we slowly made it the mile and a half home and the tire didn't fly off. Yeah, so. well, we went back roads and I mean, there were people that were going very slow behind us, but uh, what are you going to do? And what... <laughs> I'm not even sure how to fix it. No, we'll we're not. Um, I think what it looks like is like the cap or something is missing. Yeah, broke off. I'll show you guys when we get out. Yeah. But so I guess the plan would be to see. Limp it up to the trailer shop or up to the Smiths here. Yeah. And ask them. I can call them in the morning and ask them if they work on trailer hubs. Right. It might just need a bolt that needs to be, a, a nut that needs to be screwed back on. Mm -hmm. I can't tell, but. Yeah. I mean, the only good thing is, is that we don't necessarily need the trailer right now. No, um, we're so. not mowing, so, and we yeah. just, we did the only, like, prune cleanup we really have to get to right now. Yeah. So. Everything else is going to be with, um, the dump trailer. Our friend is going to let us use it. <sighs> Never a dull so. moment. Never guys. a dull moment. But you have to keep a smile on your face because, you know, what are you going to do? You getting upset and angry about something is not going to fix it. It's only going to make everybody around you feel that anxiety or... And trust me, it makes... Trust me, I get frustrated and everything's not happy yeah. on the channel sometimes. We just... Even though we're happy. Even though we're happy, like things like this and I... It's just that we're not usually recording this stuff when things break down you see the after of it when we have to have it taken to the shop or we have to have it fixed and yeah you know. and we just try to absolutely look at the glass half full and not half empty because life is way too short yeah and i got out of the truck and i seen the tire doing that and yeah for a second i was like oh my goodness what are we gonna do i don't yeah. have a jack to jack the trailer off the trailer jack thing's broken i usually use my floor jack to get that off which you do have that new one, right? Maybe you should put that on so it's easier for you to get the trailer off yeah. when you go there. I mean, if we would have had to leave the trailer there, we would have. But there was yeah. nothing in it but brush. Yeah. So. But that would have stunk because... <sighs> so I'll show you when I get out. Yeah, I'll show you when I get out real quick. But, yeah. but we do appreciate you guys. So and please, please like, like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to be happy. Or at least try. Have a good night. Even when things don't go good. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys so here's the issue as you can see we are not like completely on here say and it made it back but i don't know i might be missing a nut out of here um to keep this on see how this one's got the whole metal casing and all the little things around there this one has grease but I guess that thing must have popped off. So then the whole tire is like, look. Oh boy. Okay, until next time, we'll let you guys know about this bad boy.